joining me now is Dr. George Salib. And Dr., something I've been reading about, and I hadn't heard about this before, but flashes and floaters. This is a new procedure that you're doing? Uh, flashes and floaters are something that people will actually uh, start to see, and then they, they get very actually nervous about it, and understandably so. They get a little disconcerting. It's disconcerting. But what happens is they start to see uh, flashes of light that can take different forms. It can either be like a lightning bolt type flash or a flickering type flash, and different flashes lead to different types of diagnoses. And you can see up here, uh, there's something called a floater. And for instance, if you're just sitting there and then all of a sudden you see something, you think it's a fly in your vision and you start to swat it and there's nothing really there. And that's what a floater is. It's, it's basically an aggregation or a clumping within the vitreous, which is the liquid inside your eye. And what it does is it blocks the light from coming in uh, from the outside. It blocks it from the retina, reaching the retina, which is the inner lining of the eye. And then what people will notice is kind of a, either a dot or a line or maybe a cobweb uh, in their vision. And it's usually see-through. And uh, usually you can notice it if you're looking at something bright, like a, a bright TV screen or, or a bright computer monitor or even a bright blue sky, as you can see over here. And these floaters tend to kind of float around when you move your eyes. So if you move your eyes to the left, you'll see them float to the left. When you move your eyes to the right, they'll float to the right. And both of these things, these flashes and these floaters, will often bring people into my office uh, as, just for a visit. Is this um, something, is it is for an older, older people start to, to get this, or is it just common for all age groups? Well, actually, uh, it is common for all age groups, uh, but mainly as we age. There's certain characteristics that lead it uh, to be more common. For instance, if you're nearsighted, uh, very nearsighted, meaning you have to hold your paper up to here to be able to see it. Uh, if you've had any surgery or trauma to the eye or lasers, it tends to be more common. But the most common reason people will get this is aging. Normal aging changes that as, our, uh, as we grow older, what happens is that the liquid inside our eye, which is called the vitreous, will start to condense and start to form aggregations and start to actually break down. And then you start to see these floaters uh, and as this liquid starts to, it starts to get a little more uh, contracted and it pulls away from the inside of the eye. And so by the time you reach the age of 60, about 20% of people will have these floaters or flashes, um, which are significant for a condition called a PVD, or a posterior vitreous detachment when the liquid inside actually will separate. And then by the time you're about uh, uh, 65, about 75% of people will have this PVD or these flashes and floaters. A, a good rule of thumb is your age is indicative of at least the percent chance that people in your, in your age group will have this. So if you're 75, at least 75% of people will have these flashes and floaters. And you can see here, uh, the vitreous is that liquid inside the, the eye and it starts to pull away from the walls of the eye. And that, is what a PVD is called up in the top right corner there. So the symptom would be just seeing, seeing things uh, floating um, as, you're, as you're looking out. You see something that's not really there. I exactly, you'll, you'll start to see like, a, like a, a line or a dot. Sometimes it can form uh, like just one or two dots or, or it could be several lines. Uh, the flashes are really what, are, what get people in. Uh, you'll start to see like an arc of light or a, a lightning bolt type light. Uh, and then uh, that's as the, the vitreous is contracting and starting to pull away from the retina, that's when you start to see the flashes of light because the vitreous is attached to that inner lining of the wall called the retina. And as it detaches from it, that's when you start to get those flashes of light. Okay. It, and so um, a lot, a lot of our audience that may have experienced this, I think my mom has said that before, that yeah. she's actually um, seen, a, seen things floating, uh -huh. that no explanation and you know, we, we don't question it, just, just something that happened. Mm -hmm. But if someone is d seeing that, if they, they're noticing these kind of uh, effects, what do you recommend they do? Is there a Visine eye drops they can just drop in their eye or is there something that they should, should do for it? Yeah, I wish that drops could get rid of this. Um, the most important thing that a person should do, of course, is go to their eye doctor. 
I think that's the number one thing. If you're seeing flashes of light or any kind of floaters, definitely come to your eye doctor so that we can take a look at your eyes, uh, dilate your eyes, uh, and get a good look inside the retina. See that vitreous, as it contracts, it can sometimes uh, pull away from the retina and cause an actual tear of the eye, and that's what is really concerning. So if you get a tear inside your retina, that can lead to a retinal detachment in about 50% of cases. So I would say about 8 to 15% of all people that have these flashes and floaters end up with a tear in their eye, uh, and about 3 to 7% of people will have an actual detachment. And the things to look out for for a, a detachment are um, basically you'll start to see more floaters, an increase of flashes. You might see floaters in the form of like oil droplets or sand. And then you might actually see like a, a, a floating curtain, a dark curtain coming over your vision or even a loss of vision. All those things are quite uh, uh, bad signs and that if you, sh you should definitely come in if you see any of those things so that we can treat it as necessary. So um, one of these problems, is it something that, that worsens over time if it's untreated, or is it something that just stays this, about the same and you can get it treated or not? Well, that's a great question. Uh, you know, sometimes when a PVD is starting to form, this vitreous detachment, so the liquid coming or separating away from the back of the eye, that whole process can sometimes take up to four to six weeks. So if I have a patient come in at first and I, I don't notice anything terrible, then I'll, I'll say, well, I think I should see you back in about four to six weeks to make sure it's not an evolving process. If it is, if you have a tear there, and let's say you decide not to come in, well, that tear can evolve into a retinal detachment, which could lead to a complete loss of vision in that eye. And we don't want that. You could see here uh, uh, the retinal tear, which is leading to a, a bubbling or formation of this detachment of the eye, and that's what we want to avoid. But there are treatments. Well, um, are other things can cause this kind of problem? Are there uh, different, could they be in an accident or they look the wrong way or something, they put in the wrong drops, something right. else? Uh, definitely any sort of trauma can cause a, a vitreous to detach and a subsequent retinal detachment. Inflammations of the eye can also cause that or infections of the eye. A very common thing that will cause a flash of light that I often uh, get people in uh, to the office is, is a migraine aura. So people will notice more of a crescent type uh, flickering light, more like a strobe-like effect that lasts about 20 minutes. They become sensitive to light. Uh, they, they might get a headache afterwards, and that is a migraine headache or a migraine aura. Now, some people say, well, I've never had a migraine headache or a migraine aura. Well, about 77% uh, of people experience their first aura uh, after uh, the age of 50. So this is something that is, is very common and it's often a, associated with a headache, but sometimes it's not. If it's not associated with a headache, it's just called an ocular migraine. Okay. Um, so if someone is experiencing something like this, they have questions, um, is it immediate surgery or do you have special treatment for it? Well, if it's a posterior vitreous detachment or a PVD and it's just the liquid is floating around and you're seeing these floaters, there's not really much you can do except for uh, coming to your eye doctor, you know, making sure you come to those visits for those dilated exams. Uh, most people will start to notice these floaters less as time goes on. As far as a retinal tear goes, if you actually have a tear in your eye, then you can have a laser treatment to surround the tear and seal it in place so that the retina doesn't come off. Uh, another way to do that is with uh, cryotherapy or it's, a, it's an actual, like a freezing probe that we apply to the eye in order to seal that uh, tear in place so it doesn't evolve into a detachment. Now, if it leads to an actual detachment of the retina, then you need surgery of the eye. And uh, depending on what kind of detachment, there's different types of surgeries for this. But definitely, it needs to be taken care of. You can't just ignore a flash and a floater. Is a surgery like that, is that something that, that you can do? Or is it something you got to go to... Uh, spend a lot of money and go to LA and do a big well, thing? Well, I do a lot of surgeries. Uh, sometimes I can do certain uh, I, um, retina surgeries, but in most cases I'll refer a retina surgery like that to a retina specialist. Uh, my main uh, focus on surgery is uh, cataracts and, uh, and gl glaucoma and LASIK and things like that, but retina surgeries 
uh, are a separate subspecialty, which I often refer to. But I can do laser treatments as well. Okay. Doctor, um, I think a lot of our, our viewing audience will be very interested in things like this. And I think it's, that's why it's very interesting for, to hear this kind of information. If, um, if one of our viewers does want inf more information, they can call that phone number. It's uh, area code 949-380-EYES, EYES, 380-EYES. That's really neat that you got a phone number like that. Yeah. Well, I thought it'd be easier to remember. <laughs> yeah. In case you're ever having those flashes or flurs, just give us a call. I'd be happy to examine you and, uh, and just at least figure out what's going on. Make sure it's nothing uh, like a retinal tear or a retinal detachment. Okay. Well, thank you, doctor. And uh, coming up, we've got um, more information. Let's see, we're going to be talking about the third mutual update with uh, Denny Welsh, and she's going to be here to give us uh, all the latest, and there's all, a lot going on there. So stay tuned for more of your Channel 6 news.